Kirby versus 5. Kirby's on the bomb site. They do have a Molotov. They can just flush him out. And he's the headshot instead. It's a real good, nice shot coming in from him. Then the pre lines up a triple kill. And suddenly it's a 1 versus 2. Can they actually make it through here? We're going down the next in line, Desi. A. I think that's a very good way to lose the, the round, just because it's so unlikely you're going to be able to defend two versus five, but here we go. Or if you come up with something clever like this, Nipix can make the difference here. He's going to be looking right over it, mowing down two players, and no answer from Nip. He's not even going to get a third through the smoke. And they're going to go for the reboost. Tip getting the fourth kill in, goes for the spray, and there's the ace. Every single one. How could NIP not know about that position? Expect something down these tunnels. It's the nade over here. But Liege is going to chime in with that first kill against Death, and well, there's three more from Liege. That's one of the fastest 4Ks I've ever seen. Cutler, however, sitting up on top of here. He's going to loop around, and he sees him now. And if he, because he's moving right now, doesn't want to miss this headshot. He's hoping he'll stop, and he can actually pick it up. And also, as well, his patience can do a huge work there. One, oh my god, 50! He's even going to go for the fourth right now. He gets it out of ammo, stuck in the corner. Finally goes down to Gusta, but what? He just did. It's going to be completely unrecoverable. Gusta will see it. Ocean gets caught out. That smoke is going to block this. They're going to push behind this, though. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. Android is a monster right now. Six to six. Coming back out, they've yet to even execute out onto the actual site just yet. They're hoping for this mid control, but Stewie is free. He's got free ground to walk right up. Stoodle pops all these players pushing out for Squeaky. He's already got two. Looking for the third. He's gonna wow. get it against Yam. One more in the corner, and it's into the hole with him. Skadoodle gets the big 4K, and the Renegades get nothing out of that round. The way they want it to do is gonna be an aggressive push through the smoke. Oh, they're gonna line up actually. Crispy gets tagged down by the AWP. They're gonna line up again. Jay gets another four kills for him. It should have been in only two bullets, but that's ridiculous. One taps, trying to hit anything. But both takes down Snappy and Freiburg will take down Moddy as well, leaving just Nico on his own. He does find two though, so this is definitely still possible. Finds a third as well, and now he's found himself in a 1v1 situation, and he's very winnable. And he finds him through the smoke, hits the 4K. Absolutely phenomenal stuff from Nico. Well, Nico is playing a little bit of gun game. He's got the first rank of the UMP, switches out to the AK and picks up another. Yep, he obviously just pushed up off like we thought he was as he gets another one onto Forest now. So just Freiburg left, then suddenly LOP are looking behind and Nico just jumps and what taps Freiburg. Four to one now. And let's see whether FNX can do anything with this position going up towards red. But oh, just about gets that kill on rank. Quickly returned by Nico. Kerrigan, quick check. And Ladder gives the information he's looking for because he spots Lucas. Makes no mistake as he steps wide in hell, and he's got another steal on top of the site after the plant. The double off working well, a third. What is this from Kerrigan? You said he's so good in sandwich, he shows us why. Bolts versus four, and bolts no more because Kerrigan has them all, and the defuse will come through for phase. Ace flip potentially coming in once again. Fast towards connector we go. Dennis ready to get that first kill here. Ready and waiting, but doesn't land it. That actually massive. Dennis loves to play aggressive on a main. Oh my god. It's gonna cost him Nico. Nice shot. Don't pay attention. Oh my god, Nico. Three, make it four. All headshot under shadow. As he gets overwhelmed in the fact that Dennis goes down, he's able to recover the whole entire round. And this could be 9-6. It's only Neo. Forward of said smokes. Pasha, does he catch them off this time? Good pop flash back out. Bounces from afar. Pasha waiting. He's gonna go. Oh, the flash timing is perfect. Taco gets him down. No chance for Pasha to strike. Nice shot. Snacks up close. And a straight flash high in the sky. They won't be able to dodge. Means he can go back for more. And he certainly will. Finds a second and a third. Snacks on fire. What a shot. As he picks up a fifth for Virtus Pro to close the half. Still early on in this first map, but, but very tricky. JKS with a great shot. Ada going to be taking down Seast. And as you said, it's a buy round for Navi. They need more out of this. But they're not being allowed on the bomb side. There we go. Simple finds a headshot on Adam. The hero from yesterday for Renegades. But this is definitely slowing things down here for Navi. JKS still alive on the site. Another headshot for JKS. That's two already for him, and he's still alive. They aren't able to trade. 
Justillo's coming in from behind and he's already he's gonna be there with an the almost perfect timing. There's no way Navi are gonna expect it this soon and even if they do, the rest of Renegades are gonna preoccupy them from the other angle so Tough call here for the terrorist side. How do you find your way out? You're sandwiched in and you don't even know it. And you're still always even better right now. Walking into apartments. Navi, so much trouble here. It'd be a miracle if they could get out of this 2v3. He's walking in. He sees one. Gonna check it. Just realize there's another guy in the corner. And as he really gets one more kill, the headshot in and somehow it ends up in a 1v1. Simple, there's the ace! He picks up every single kill and saves Navi from what was an almost sure doom. This is a lot of utility. They're be at long, aggressive. This is within the danger zone, though, but they're gonna line up for him. Two kills, maybe three, yes! Three headshots, no! Device robs him! He steals one of them, and I don't think Kirby's gonna be complaining at all, otherwise he was gonna get run over. That was such a risky position. There's the third headshot, Kirby looking for more! There's the quad kill! All of them headshots, and <laughs> look at that! Arms out, he knew what he just did. That is almost certainly the map here for Astralis, 11-5 now pulling themselves over here. You've got Christian Spitty on the rotate, and this isn't bad, but Oscar's got to be careful. He could be pushed up in middle. Maybe he expected one of his teammates to have that, but it wasn't the case. Chris J, though, dances around, finds two. Shoulder peeks in. Sparrow goes down as well. This is beautiful from Chris J. This man is on a masterclass! And now one man remains. It's Roland, and I don't fancy my odds against Chris J, let alone LOL on the flank. That was beautiful from Chris J. Here. Anyways, uh, what's it? We. How do you say yes? Isn't it we? It's we. We destroyed Oh, okay. nice flick from Otto. I need to shot him to relax that this is a good opener. This is putting Ooh. the man down on the oh. second shot in the third window. Oh, oh my god. god. And a fourth for Otto. This is absolutely tremendous. Oh. Otto with the ace. Ladies and gentlemen, what are we looking at here tonight? Otto absolutely going crazy. Man mode. Four situation bubble. The only ones to get a kill this far from Rope. Gonna make their way into force. the B bomb side. Bubble taking a bit of damage. Bulwark down in vents over towards Decon. Victor in good position, but Bulwark managed to find the shot. Bubble. What a shot from Bubble on Maid. Needs to be careful here. He's surrounded. He managed to line the bubble with the double. Bubble with the ace. How? Oh my god. What? Gets the correction. Trades it down into a 4v4 now, and they are trying to push back in, but there's more pressure about the work its way in for both sides of this one. VP, Cloud9 are also rotating back in, and they just picked up two kill snacks. He's running wild, but unfortunately, he just lost his entire team. Neo, though, with the flick shot on the shroud, destroying him. Unfortunately, he's down to one HP. And even if Neo is unsuccessful in his clutch attempts, and if he gets one of these kills again, it really does hurt Cloud9's rebuy. In the next round, he's gonna be playing this one aggressively. You know, you're facing a lot of first frag. Hope you understand him. Noodle's also there on 15 health. Is Neil gonna do it again? He's got so many in this kind of a situation. And a headshot. Neo putting Cloud9 in their place. Six and two. As they move in for the trades, happy. He's holding on. That's the bomb going down to the ground right now. It doesn't work. being sprayed from the other side. Kenny is gonna deck him from the top side. Takes him down. And now they're being aggressive. Now Apex is gonna move up. He wants as much control as possible of the bomb site to prevent the envious players from rotating in from Z. And all of a sudden, it's Kenny and Shox versus the world here. And Shox need to attack from the action. Kenny, first up the bat, he finds the shot, but he's being pressured up close. He needs Shox to support him. He's watching for a flank, but what? Squad! Oh my god, Kenny gets an incredible kill against Sixer! I didn't even see the flick! He hits that shot somehow! And it's another round for G2! They're shooting ahead again! 14 to 7. What was that last shot? Envious are broken. They have nothing left now. And G2 has control of the matchup.